returns to a small town in green country and roads reopen following an active shooter threat to Vanita High School that sent the campus into lockdown. Tomorrow, it will be business as usual as students head back to the classroom. Two Works View's Katie Kelleher wraps up what happened. The lockdown lasted nearly five hours. The school says no shots were ever fired and no one was in any danger. The Vanita High School was locked down and the school was searched and cleared. These images show law enforcement searching the high school following the active shooter threat. A school employee tells Two Works For You they locked the doors and turned off the lights to keep students safe. This was certainly a stressful time for many members of our community and the coordination between the school system and local law enforcement provided for an orderly vetting of the threat. Many parents rushing to the school as soon as they heard the news, concerned for their children and thankful for law enforcement's quick response. A little worried, but just a lot of prayer. Fabulous job. I can't I can't commend them enough. Uh, they had this place locked down and secured. So I felt really good about it, even though it's frustrating. I felt really good about the job they're doing. Then around 3 o'clock, buses driving in and students allowed to leave the building. Soon after, both downtown and the high school opening up. The Craig County Sheriff's Office tells us no one has been arrested yet. Earlier in the day, local authorities told us one suspect was in custody and they're communicating with a second suspect. But the threat was not credible. There's no evidence that any student, faculty member or other staff was in any danger at any time. School will be in session tomorrow as the investigation continues. In Vanita, Katie Kelleher, Two Works For You.